Another way to use this AL abacus is when students come down to the carpet and we've been counting. So let's say we've been counting and I count. I actually count until all the kids are down to the carpet. And so we just keep counting. And it's kind of a signal of you need to hurry because you need to be down to the carpet by the time we get to 100. And uh, most often kids are. Uh, and it just, it invests everyone in the classroom, helps them keep counting. So we're here 95, 96, 97, and I'll just go 98, 99, it's a big deal, 100. And so then I will make that noise because I'm signaling we're going to do something. So we wanna count by ones and tens. So we're gonna use the abacus to kind of um, count a little differently, so to speak. So I might slide over a whole group of 10. How many do I have? 10. And then I'm going to say, let's count by ones. 11, 12, 13, or 1, 10, 3 is the way I would count. 1, 10, 4, 1, 10, 5, 1, 10, 6, 1, 10, 7, 1, 10, 8, 1, 10, 9, 2, 10. Let's slide over a group of 10. What do we have now? 3, 10. Let's do another group of 10. 4, 10, let's count by ones. 4, 10, 1, 4, 10, 2, 4, 10, 3, 4, 10, 4, 4, 10, 5, 4, 10, 6, 4, 10, 7. What is 4, 10, 7? They'll say 47. And if they don't all, I will say, let's write 4, 10, 7. Or even if they say it's 47, let's write 4, 10, 7. And everyone says it out loud together, 4, 10, 7. Great. 4, 10, 7 means... 47. So we're getting that language of transferring the tens and ones into the uh, name of the number. Okay, here we have 410, 7, 410, 8, 410, 9, 510. Let's all stop and write, everyone. Let's write five tens. Maybe they have whiteboards at this point, or maybe I have someone come up, or maybe I just write five tens. Ask them, is this correct? What's another way, another name for five tens? What is the name we usually call it? 50. All right. Enjoy.